Welcome to the first Tommy Energy sleep stream. Right, let's go. <clears throat> like, that's crazy. Anyways, Morbid dropped the video, y'all know. It's called The Strangest TikTok Live Streams. Bro, have you guys ever been on TikTok live streams? Let me just ask the chat real quick. Have you guys ever been on TikTok live streams? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm not ready. <laughs> But yeah, TikTok live streams are, they're unreal. They don't even make any sense. It's because TikTok is so accessible. And the worst part is, yo, oh my God. The worst part about TikTok lives is like so many people use TikTok. Some of these average like tens of thousands of viewers. If y'all saw my IG story, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna shorten it down. But look at my IG story. Pretty much there was this girl she was just working at a smoothie shop, like recording herself. Granted, bro, she did have a, you know what I'm saying? She she did have her uh, cheeks towards the camera. <laughs> What's kind of crazy, but there was 11,000 watching that. Her just working at a smoothie shop. That is insane to me. Like still, she was still just working at a smoothie shop and like there's 11,000 people looking at it. Anyways, let's get to it. The strangest uh, TikTok live streams. No, no, we're good now. I don't know. Streaming is bigger than ever with many creators mainly yeah, streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Just because those two Morbid, are the most yeah. popular streaming platforms doesn't make it the only two. A lot of social media apps nowadays have streaming features, and this includes TikTok. Unlike mm. YouTube and Twitch, where you would typically see gaming, Yo, you're on TikTok. Speaking of speed, hold on, let me go back. And this includes TikTok. Unlike YouTube. Y'all don't understand the level of like dumbness of some of these kids. Y'all don't understand the dumbness. I've seen people literally like stream speeds, speeds live streams, and you see kids in the comments like, Oh my god, speed, what did you get on TikTok? Oh my god, speed, no speed, casual speed, L like that these kids are actually stupid and it's because they're kids it's because they're kids it's insane and it's because their copyright is not enforced either they don't care been twitch where you would typically see gaming here on tiktok you see the worst of the worst this mm -hmm. includes scams exploiting children <laughs> with disabilities for money oh my god oh my god i forgot to, i forgot to talk about that have you ever been on tiktok lives uh, i think he's gonna explain it but there's people that literally use uh their disabled kids to exploit them He's gonna explain it though. Team plus content on an app that's meant for 12 year olds and older. So in today's video, I will be talking- What did we ch <laughs> Hold on, peep the motion y'all, peep the motion, peep the motion. Content on an app that's meant for 12 year olds what? and older. <laughs> so in today's video- <laughs> Thank God he, thank God he blurted. Yo, I will be talking about the strangest TikTok live streams. Pelican dots vlogging for a live stream. Pretty strange. This live stream is somewhat- Wait, what? Oh wait, it started? This collab video is 100% better than our last collab video, but sorry for the long intro and let's get straight into this video. Okay. Vlogging Pelican. This one's self-explanatory because it's a <laughs> vlogging Pelican. A Pelican that's vlogging for a live stream. I've seen this, bro. These are definitely fake. I've seen this before. I saw people talking about this. Yo, now this is... This Vibing though, he's vibing. I respect it. Man, man's really chill. This live stream Can't is really somewhat hate. common on TikTok, and there isn't a specific account that makes these streams because many different accounts will stream the same exact pelican. In fact, is not. But it's just like the life. same video loop. That's why it's stupid. Live stream That's because this is a pre-recorded video being broadcast on stream. I wouldn't call this a scam just because the accounts are not asking for money, but instead mm. selling you the idea that a pelican is streaming on- It's somewhat a scam. Somewhat a scam because it's not their video. They just all use the same video and people think it's like a pelican. TikTok, which is a pretty funny, lighthearted joke. So, so Since so the crazy vlogging that pelican no is a pre-recorded video, where did this video come from? This is a video posted to the official GoPro YouTube channel where they help a pelican learn how to fly, so they strapped a GoPro mm. to the pelican's beak to record the pelican's first time Peak flying. Pelican. This is a pretty old video posted on February 27th, 2014. The video is pretty short since it's only two minutes long, while the TikTok live streams <laughs> are way longer than two minutes. How is that possible since it's the same video? Pelican. Well, it's quite easy to explain this since Pelican. the aspect ratio on TikTok. It would be cool. I want to see like a cam like this. Is that a thing? Does anybody know? Does anybody really know? Is, is there like a cam like live? This is obviously fake in the same video. It would be cool to see like animals flying like this. Like, like they set up GoPros on the, on the animals and then they let them go in the wild and see what they do and see what happens. That would be mad cool. Search it up on Google. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. So guess what I just learned guys 87% of you guys are not subscribed That's like the biggest number out of any other YouTube I've ever seen So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button On the real though like please subscribe I need to feed me and my family and my editor So please do a Talk is different than the aspect ratio from YouTube Meaning most of the background from the TikTok livestream is cropped 
making it easy for the livestream to loop the video since the background is the exact same mm. and the pelican is only doing one movement, which is flapping its wings. There's multiple versions of a bird flying for a TikTok livestream since That'll there's this fire. other livestream showing another bird flying next to mountains and just like the pelican, this is already a previous YouTube video where people broadcast it on the TikTok stream looped. That is a W. That's an actual side hustle though. I respect that. Egg peeling. This time we're going to be what? talking about a specific creator that is the most popular the morbid go. <laughs> uh, this is probably his this niche, which is egg Biggest peeling. Biggest burn. TikTok user David HS2 goes live on TikTok somewhat often, where he will peel an entire egg just for fun using tools such as tweezers, scalpels, etc. Why mm. does he do this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. TikTok lives are just really wait. Weird. I don't know. You can you can peel egg like that who is this i don't know it's probably his fr it's probably his friend i'm assuming you can peel an egg like that now david has gained we did surgery on an egg no don't bring it back yo don't bring that back <laughs> real ones remember the uh surgery on a grave oh that was that was crazy times was that like 2018 memes was that 2018 or 2019 memes does anybody remember that might have been 2019 everybody was saying that that was like 2019 yeah that was of <sighs> 1.2 million followers all that by peeling eggs Hmm. In my personal opinion, I think he's doing that for attention. It's kind of like those Mr. Beast videos where he did those random videos back in the day. Now, let me clarify that I don't think David's trying to become the next Mr. Beast. Video was made in 2010. But he's probably taking inspiration from him by doing these random videos to basically garner attention. Believe it or hmm. not, people actually enjoy these egg peeling lives because- Wait, why the does the egg look like that? Why the does the egg look like that? Am I tripping? Bro, when you peel an egg, it does not look like that. Am I stupid? It's natural. It's, it, it wouldn't even look like that. It's boiled, right? It's raw. Oh, wait, you know what? You know what I'm thinking, bro? I'm thinking if you peel it, it's just gonna immediately, like, come to the yolk. Like, you're gonna see the yolk. But they're actually peeling the outer layer. That's what it, it is. It actually gets a lot of donations and viewers from this. So, there is an audience in the egg peeling community. And mm. yes, you heard me right. There's a whole egg peeling community. And those other creators also have millions of followers. Donation fighting games. These are not the technically hell? scams since you know what you're paying for, but I can't believe that people actually pay for this. These are live streams of a video game where you can play from home, but in order to play, you oh, have- Oh, I know these. I know these. If you've been on TikTok, you'll know these. i never seen this one, but I've seen like, you could send gifts and they do that. I know that- you, you can like send gifts and like they'll either do one, bro. I saw- there was like this- one somebody showed in the video where it was like press this side if you're like straight and then press this or gift no gift the side if you're straight and then gift this side if you're the lgbtq <laughs> and everybody gathered together and picked the straight side <laughs> that is insane <laughs> like everybody was donating to the straight side but i've seen stuff like this to pay in fact you have to pay for each move that you make in the game tiktok has this in-app currency called coins that you buy with real money and with the coins it's mad money, that's the thing. People don't understand this adds up. Even if you buy 65, like it's a dollar. This, this thing adds up. To a TikTok streamer. A gift is just TikTok money that you give to a streamer, but an animation plays on the live. Mm. Most of the time, people will gift a rose, which is only valued around a penny, and sometimes people will donate a TikTok universe, which is $500. Look, Whoa! I don't- They got a five- 500? People will donate a TikTok universe, which is five. Oh, Davey. Davey, you down bad. You down bad. Make the dough, Tommy. Even on Twitch, I'm pretty sure on Twitch. Well, Twitch, you can gift like up to 100 subs, which is $500. So, but like, when do people gift 100 subs? Not really like that. Imagine Pokemon streaming on TikTok. Do one on TikTok. We support you. No. $100. Look, I don't they literally people are. that they're donate to children. streamers because it's literally the streamer's job to collect donations. But it's so shocking to me how a normal Joe Schmo just has $500 to drop on a TikTok live Yeah, that's live down stream. bad. You down bad. It's just... I can't comprehend that. If you're watching the stream and want to participate in the game, you can donate a gift to Couldn't they disable the, the chats? <laughs> Did you just say disable a chat in a live stream? That ruins the fun. Who am I going to be talking to? I'm going to be doing a, a game like, yo chat, what do you think of this? And you just hear cricket sounds like, that's about to be so boring. The cheapest option, which is only valued around a penny, will remove one health point from the opponent. But the more expensive the gift is that you donate, you will do more damage to the other player. These mm. TikTok live streams are still common to this day, and multiple accounts do this, but around the Depp versus Herd trial, these donation fighting games were at its peak since the host of the stream would use the likeness Oh my of god, oh my god, that's Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. No, I'm tired. 
Every time I see Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, it just reminds me of that time when every streamer was milking it, every content creator was milking it. I hate seeing it. The character models are horrible. This isn't even- I couldn't even tell this is Johnny Depp. This is Blondie Depp and, uh, Namber Durd. What is this? Depp and Amber Turd to make more money on the TikTok live stream. Johnny and Amber aren't the only two people in the donation fighting games because you can Abuse also pick to court makes fighting game out of it. Obama, Trump, Biden, Eminem, MGK, Spider-Man, Depp. I'd pay, I'd pay good money to punch the shit out of MGK. Maybe they do got it down. I'd pay good money for that. Well, Kanye and Snoop Dogg, which is a very strange combination of characters for a video game. These are the only type of donation games that you can find. Yeah, on this TikTok is the one I saw. This is the one I saw, bro. Or was it? No, it was another one that was like, sh like straight and There's gay. There's also other streams where they host a game on girls versus boys, which reminds me of middle school pack Ooh, rallies. And man, I can't imagine people donating money to this just because it seems very childish. There's was also some there? genre to these That's what said? Kanye? Oh, donation fighting that. games, but instead of using an actual video game, they use rice. This game is the exact same concept as the other ones, okay, but just, you just pay them to fill up a jar boring. with rice, and whichever boring. one fills up the fastest wins. Personally, I would rather see cartoon characters punching each other and not see a jar being filled with rice. There's usually a paper behind the jar calling one jar boy and the other jar girl, but I've also seen some other rice streams where they title each jar something else that isn't boy versus girl. You get the point of the streams now, and these are not scams since you know what you're paying for, but this is such a weird way to farm TikTok donations, and if you donate to the streams, then more power to you, I guess, but... These are just very weird. Bro, like I said, you don't understand how much bread these streams can make. Especially those girls. Like, like, uh, uh, he's probably gonna get to it. Like, like those girls that be, uh, essentially stripping. To me, and especially the ASMR rice ASMR streams, one. those. Interactive sleep streaming. Sleep streaming is- Oh, yep, yeah, I've seen these. I already- I know a lot of these, I feel like, because I've scrolled on TikTok lives a lot just to see the absolute, uh, insanity. Over the past year, this subgenre of streaming has become stream? quite popular. No. The streamer is just in their bed sleeping, not moving at all, and the viewer is just watching. Like, we can just watch people sleep on our phones. Mm. So you're telling me that people wouldn't watch a Morbid for Fun video all the way through, but they will watch Amaranth sleep for a whole hour? Not gonna lie though, I do like- Wait, Amaranth did that? No. For Fun video all the way through, but they will watch Amaranth sleep- Oh, no, nah, this looks- I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a campsite. This is- Sleep for a whole hour? Not gonna lie though, I do like Emma. <sighs> I am a stan. I'm a stan. Now apparently there's this thing called a sleeping beauty fetish, in which people are attracted to people sleeping. But I doubt that the majority of these people are watching these streams. What? No. 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 You see, we can't just keep giving, okay? We can't just keep giving random diseases to people and just calling them like, huh, you're just diagnosed with this. No, 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 <laughs> it's a crime, not a fetish. Uh, we gotta sometimes, like, let's not normalize every, like, fetish. It's not normal. It's the same thing with those <laughs> like, that like to get, uh, on. You can, you're not the same person if you'd like to get on. I'll blame it on future doctors. Doctors gotta, like, work. Work for them in the future. Streams because of that? Since Ludwig has had the streams while too. he sleep streams. I mean, he kind of does have that kind of Chad look. But I doubt the majority of these people watch him because of that fetish. So now that you know what sleep streaming is, what makes a sleep stream interactive? Well, mm. how about I show you? <laughs> this is kind of ass though. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. I want to hate on it, but like this is. I mean, it's interactive, but I mean, interactive sleep streaming is when a streamer is sleeping on stream, but every time it looks time cooler than like a normal sleep stream you would see on like a streamer. You know what I mean? It look like at least they're doing more work, but at the same time, donate. I've seen some goofy streams like that. A gift, a loud sound will play, and it will wake up the streamer. You're mm. basically paying to annoy someone while they're sleeping. Cheap yeah. gifts will make a loud noise, but the more expensive See, like gifts will activate I mean, loud I put noises, in effort. flashing this one looks lights, like more effort. inflatable tuvemen, smoke machines, etc. ADHD, the live stream. There's many people doing interactive sleep streams across all platforms, but the king of sleep streams has to be Jakey Boham, since he's the one that makes the most intense interactive sleep streams on TikTok. These streams are so insane that news stations have reported on Jakey, and it what? is estimated that he makes about $50,000 a month sacrificing his sleep. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, welcome to the, welcome to the first Tommy NFG sleep stream. So let's start. We're starting right now. Uh, you guys can don't, don't know, TTS is on. Uh, all right, let's go. <clears throat> like, that's crazy. 
crazy. That's crazy. I'm gonna gift you 100 subs. Not worth it. I mean, if not worth it is $50,000 a month, that's worth it. <laughs> I don't know, not worth that. I don't know what you're talking about. You got a make... lot of people do sleep streams on TikTok, but they just can't compare to JT. Not, not worth I it. mean, would you do interactive sleep streaming? Personally, I don't know, but 50k. Maybe for 50k, yeah, I'm doing actually. It. I'm doing it. Exploiting kids with disabilities for donations. For this part of the video, I am not going to show any mm, stream clips. I talked about this. But if you've been on TikTok long enough, you've probably seen a few of these streams. A lot of parents decide to showcase their kids with disabilities. And for the most part, these kids are bed bound, meaning that they're in bed so, and can't move. So Sometimes the up. parents would be in the stream with the kid and they would talk to the chat. But some parents just have the camera rolling on their kid while they sit back behind the camera and not say a word. Many people on TikTok <sighs> say that these streamers are exploiting their kids for money. These are everywhere while a they small are. minority of people say that they're only doing this to raise money to pay off hospital bills. And if that's the case, why are they doing it on TikTok live? There's so many more efficient Somebody ways to Somebody said the red eyes, big head kid. Is it bad that I know what you're talking about? Oh God, yeah. After all, TikTok pays also, horribly and your donations get cut in half. I've seen it. So if you raise $100, you're only getting 50 bucks. Just because these parents are being that's paid insane. less. Well, I would say that's insane, but like Twitch kind of has the same cut. That doesn't mean that they're not exploiting their kid on TikTok. Since after all, with TikTok, you reach a wider audience, which means more opportunity to raise money. And just because mm. there's a wider audience on TikTok, that isn't necessarily a good thing because my god, if you look at the comments on the TikTok live stream, they are the most vulgar, yep. diabolical comments yep. that you will ever see on social yep. media. Because you know what they would say? They would they would see like a disabled kid and they'd be like, yo, stand up, bro. Stand up. Stand up. What are, what are, what are you doing? Stand up. It's really that simple. Just, just, it's, it's not that hard. It takes one, two, stand up. Why do these parents not monitor what their kids are watching? Oh, you know why. You know why. You wanna know what, you, you know what new parents like to do? And, and, uh, eh, old parents do it somewhat, but definitely this new age of parents. They like to give their kids a bunch of tablets, just not look at anything they look at, and, uh, let them raise them. And then, and then, and then they get all of a sudden, like, confused and shocked when, uh, Kids' mental health are bad nowadays, or they're horrible, and then they end up you end up with this. Cause these what is bubblegum pink? Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, little bro. Don't worry about it. You don't want to know anyways. We'll roast the kid, and in some instances, they would even say to put down the kid, which look, even if the parents are exploiting their kids, you shouldn't comment that. What? Say you swear. These kids is different in these comments. Like, That's that is said. just way too extreme. I mean, it's TikTok. What do you expect? But still, like, I don't condone those comments. Parents, don't use TikTok Live as a source for donations because mm -hmm. all you're doing is bringing hate to your kid. And there's just better That's ways sad. to raise money. I'll give some credit where credit is due because some parents, they do monitor the chat to the delete generation. comments and even ban okay. people, which... I believe that's a good thing because why bring unwanted hate? They just need to turn kid? off the chats, right? Like if you're like, let's say you're one of these parents, right? And I'm not saying this is a good thing, but one of them exploiting their kids. Why don't they just turn off the chat so people can't send that mean stuff? I don't care what people say and they will keep up the mean comments. Like they don't care what you have to say about their kid, which is just a sad thing to look at. And I believe mm -hmm. those parents to be the ones exploiting their kids for money. Do I believe that every parent doing this are exploiting their kid? No, but sadly a majority are. Hmm. Galaxy Kid. This one's a wacky one. Mason Clay, better known as Galaxy Kid, goes live on TikTok and basically cries up a storm to not donate Galaxy. Oh my god. I've seen- I include- I include that- this in my YouTube video. That is very funny. I'm calling me emo! And that's such a bubble I'm not an pink. emo! Just, why would we get a galaxy? Now I gotta knock these guys. Bro, look how much galaxies he has. How much is a galaxy worth on TikTok again? Oh, it's not 
body. It's expensive. It has to be. <laughs> five hundred. There's no shot. This is worth five hundred. Galaxy is worth. Yes. It just said he had seventy six. There is no way he got. That's how much? How much money? That's like thirty. That's in the thousands. Ten dollars, meaning that he's crying over the fact that he's getting paid ten dollars. Probably one hundred fifty. On the live, Galaxy that makes Kid more would sense. be building a house of cards, and every time someone donates Galaxy, he would have to uh. knock down the house of cards and off start. topic but he got like the little aaron yeager things yeah this is this is a representation of the alt uh, or attack on titan phantom over which he ends up crying about so it was an attack he on titan really fan crying. he just has like crying makeup on and a filter and he's only fake crying for attention and trying to use reverse psychology on kids so they basically donate galaxies to him i mean we know when you tell a kid to not do something they just want to do it even more so mm -hmm. when he says don't donate galaxy he's kind of using that psychology on them especially when the galaxy kid cries since we know how much kids love getting a reaction out of people he also whines about people calling him emo but i'm pretty sure nobody has really said that to him he's just saying it for attention and i mean look the it's, galaxy not, it's not kid even funny though that's the thing but I, I don't understand what kids find funny what did i find funny i mean i guess when i was a kid i found like yelling funny i don't know what kids be finding annoying. funny nowadays but i mean that's what he's going for he's the galaxy kid like, you can't deny that it's a pretty big brain move. And he actually doesn't really hustle. do live streams. It's usually pre-recorded. seems very video. challenged. A lot of other YouTubers that have <laughs> talked about the Galaxy Kid have proven that it's pre-recorded video by putting a side-by-side -side comparison of two different live streams that he uh, did while crying from a span of six months. W and hustle. both of the clips match up 100% accurately. W hustle. Also, if he Respect does it. fool someone into donating Galaxy, he doesn't even acknowledge it. Because the whole thing is pre-recorded and not an actual live stream. He does a lot of bait because he's just one of those TikTokers that does videos to promote his stream. Like he'll say if you have under 5,000 followers and you join his stream, you'll become TikTok famous. And that uh, he hasn't blinked no. in two weeks. It's just bait so you can click on his live. Oh he god, I hate people like that. It's more scams. Since I he has that, that link tree thing that says if you click something, you'll get 100 Robux. An iPhone 14. Basically- Oh, anything. not the, not the, not the, uh, click this to get 715 in, in Cash App. Click this to get a Robux, $100 Robux. Uh, not that. Uh. Don't TikTok viewers like. Also, like I said in the beginning, the TikTok user's name is Mason Clay. But he may have more accounts because I found this other TikTok account called Dark Matter 8, which by looking at the content, it's the same Galaxy Kid, and it's been proven that his live streams are pre-recorded. So this means that he has. I mean, I respect. I would do the same thing. I couldn't do that. I couldn't time. do that. So he's scamming many kids on multiple accounts when he's streaming. Dumping stuff on your head streams. These streamers say if you donate hmm? a specific gift, they will dump a random thing on their head. For this segment of the video, I will be using Ryan as an example since he's the most popular one doing this. On his whiteboard, it says that if you donate a galaxy, he'll dump an- On his whiteboard, it says that if you donate a- No, no, no. A dead carcass of an octopus on your head. But this is what you do for a living. What are you going to tell anybody when you have to get a job in the future when this doesn't work out? Because it's not going to work out forever. That is- it's just messed up. <laughs> It's weird. Uh, it's weird, right? A bag's a bag. This isn't gonna be my bag. Like a bag is a bag. I understand. Even like what kids' channels on YouTube. Yeah, they got like millions of subscribers. Only kids watch them. But I'm like, all right, a bag is a bag. But this is just like, is a bag really a bag when you look at this? Like, can you really say that? Galaxy, he'll dump an octopus on his head. What did I come to the stream to see? To dump ketchup. Donate a train to dump worms, etc. Ryan gives me the same vibes as the galaxy. And there's ketchup on the octopus. Oh. Because he also makes those videos promoting his live stream saying that he hasn't blinked for two weeks and that you shouldn't join his live. And just like the galaxy kid, Ryan is still using the worst How reverse bro psychology How, like, 50, that only fools first graders. <laughs> I'll actually give some credit to Ryan just because he actually does go live, unlike the Galaxy Kid who broadcast a pre-recorded video. I mean, he does say that every time someone joins the live, he'll dump stuff on his head, which is dead somewhat fish. misleading because he won't actually do it. You actually have to donate in order for him to dump something on his head. And in my opinion, he's technically better than the Galaxy Kid. It's super weird how people do this. I know I use this Ryan as an stink? example, and Foul. there are other people Foul. doing it as well, but Ryan is like the main guy doing this at the moment. And let's be honest, this trend uh. isn't that bad comparing to scamming kids. Ryan is not scamming That's technically true. since you are getting what you paid for, must but there is a subgenre to the dumping on head videos, which are bad which involves 18 plus content waifu laura is another content creator where she d
So my question is, is a bag a bag? Is a bag a bag, guys? She got nut no. I showed this before. Bro, if y'all are following me on if y'all are following me on IG, you would know. I I I, I saw this before. This girl had like 20,000 people watching her. It's like, it's not even, it's not, bro, it's not what you think before a TOS or anything. Let's say YouTuber Twitch. It's like, obviously not, you know, it's like yogurt and eggs and, and it's, I, I just don't understand. Why? Is there not really more ways to make some type of bread without embarrassing yourself like this? Ways? I mean, a bag is a bag, but is there any other way? Like, just imagine seeing this person in the street. You're gonna always know them as the girl who went on TikTok live and smashed eggs and yogurt on her head. It's not a really good image. <laughs> not a really good image. Like, if people see me on the street or if any of y'all come up to me, I'm just gonna be like, yo, uh, I know what y'all see. Like, y'all see my videos or whatever, commentary videos. Don't know me for this. <laughs> they don't. I would donate an entire universe to her. All right, bro. Good luck to you. Dumb stuff on your head, but it's a bit sexualized mainly pouring white stuff on her head such oh, as yeah you know and, and you know kids are watching this they're like only in ohio you know and no i am not using yogurt as a substitute word because she actually pours yogurt on her head which is supposed to insinuate something else i don't know how much i can show of her clips just because you already know how youtube is they are pretty soft and like two weeks ago youtube has like an update where basically they became softer so youtube is mm. slowly becoming youtube kids in a way so i have to be careful what i say next and what i show i'm pretty sure i can show this sexual video awakening? It probably is. she didn't dump that much yogurt and she also cracked an egg on her head for some reason if you look through her account god oh my it's looking like Kylie Kylie Jenner uh 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 lips you know what I'm saying uh injection injections type that's what I'm saying. can't find that she likes Duck to lips, post yeah. a lot of thirst trap content and if you go to her other social links you guessed it she has an only friends look I got oh, nothing so she against does. only okay. friends sense, girl get your bag make your parents proud but TikTok is not the platform the to promote speed this Kylie Jenner content lips. after all this app is meant to be for 12 and up people and nowadays parents they just give an ipad to their three-year-old and they yep. too are on tiktok yep. i have nothing against promoting that type of content but you shouldn't be doing it on tiktok youtube twitch well maybe twitch you can but instead of yep. using tiktok <laughs> to promote that type of content just stick to twitter because you know how twitter is and I have nothing against Laura, by the way. I'm just using her as an example since she's like the most popular one and everybody sees her on their For You pages. So I'm using her as an example. And yes. And like the thing are... is, bro, how does TikTok push this? Yo, y'all know the first time I went live on TikTok, they banned me because I cursed. I think because I said sh But then they allowed live streams like this to be pushed. They banned me because I said you can't, you can't say, you can't curse apparently on a live, even though celebrities do it all the time, but I'm not verified. But then they, they allow things like this to pass. I don't understand. It doesn't even make any sense. For other people like her doing the same it. thing on TikTok. Syrian TikTok scams. There's a few Syrian TikTok streams showing a father with a sick child. The kid is usually laying down in front of the dad while the dad is begging for money. This is mm. somewhat similar to the topic of parents exploiting kids for their disabilities. But what makes these Syrian like, streams kind of different is that these kids may actually not be sick. After all, one of these streams actually showed a child wrapped in toilet paper, not bandages, toilet paper what are we talking about you may be asking how this is a scam well that's because it's a looped pre-recorded video tiktok users expose this by showing multiple instances where different oh my TikTok god, accounts oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i have seen this i have seen this go live at the same time showing the same exact dad and child and when you watch these streams like the separately one. and you compare like the them side kids. by side you can tell that they're a hundred percent identical these streams are simply farming donations. And this isn't just one dad doing this, there's multiple people doing the same exact thing on different accounts. Okay, Mudahar is it just me or like, is it, wait, is it just me or people will, people will donate the, these gifts and sh but a homeless man on the street, <laughs> yeah, they won't even drop like a little, a little, a little penny. From some ordinary gamers, made a video on these Syrian streamers called the most evil TikTok scams, where mm. he goes deeper into the rabbit hole. Muda says that the people in these streams aren't even the guilty ones in this situation because these Syrian people Look, are. Oh my God! Stop! Hospitals in Ohio. Ugh. These are the three comments. Hospital in Ohio. Is she okay? WTF? LMAO. They didn't even put LMAO. They 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 somehow misspelled LMAO. I M A O chat. It's just sad. 
especially in refugee camps. Now, there's most likely an industry pushing these streams out to more people. This is called a live stream guild. The people who are running the guilds are the people that are supplying these poor Syrian families with phones and TikTok accounts, which is a sad thing because the company is actually pocketing most of the I'm profits TikTok live. and not giving it all to the families. So they are flat out using poor refugees for money. The BBC did an investigation where they donated $106 and with all the fees, the family only got $19. The BBC was just one donation. And most of the time, people will donate a lot less money, meaning that the Syrian families are getting. Bro, if, you, if you guys really want to help, um, donate to a reputable charity because you can't trust people online, especially like this. Paid around less than ten dollars, depending how much money someone donates to them. A lot of TikTokers that are exposing these scams are calling the family That's what my scammers, do. That's good. which is not a hundred percent true because they're being manipulated by these live stream guilds since the guilds are promising more views and donations. But with mm. the more donation a family gets, the more money these live stream guilds get. If you want an even deeper dive, I suggest watching Mudahar's video on the topic. Spider Gwen clapped. <laughs> okay, uh... Bro, what is this? What, what is this? Can I even look at this? I don't even know how I can look at this on stream, bro. What is this? My favorite? Oh, of course it is. Oh, we know, Rai. We know. I know, I know you always been a milkman. I know you always been a milkman. Don't hide it. It's okay. Welcome. <laughs> I know. I don't think I'm gonna be paid for this video, but I'm gonna try to explain this. Please tell me to show it. PG way possible. Okay. Yeah, and I know I'm you wouldn't show it. I'm gonna just use movie clips from Spider-Man because I can't actually show Never you. Never heard of that one. Me neither. From the stream. So in January 2022, this TikToker would dress up as Spider Gwen from the movie Spider-Man Into the Spider Verse, and in the live stream, it would show Gwen and miles doing stuff like no 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 there's no way tiktok allowed this i swear if i actually see what i'm thinking i mean he's gonna censor it i'm done i'm done i'm done with that app my no way they ban like people like me and and rye and tiktokers but they let this slide please don't tell me is entering her multiverse my own enters back. her multiverse so, yeah, these Shark people were <laughs> actually doing it on tiktok live Oh god, that is such a weird sentence to say. The phone will be positioned where Miles will be out of frame, but you can still- <laughs> Kids up. <laughs> hear what's going on, and especially with the movement that Gwen is doing. They didn't just do this for one live stream because they did it again on a second stream. I'm only aware of two live streams that they did, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did more live streams doing it. Also, during the live, there is a small monitor in front of Gwen promoting her only friends and Twitter. What? I Twitter for research purposes, and no, I am not joking. I actually went through it for actual research purposes. Research? Okay, man. Hey, hey I understand, man. <laughs> you said he went through it for research. <laughs> hey, research didn't take that much, man. <laughs> you just gotta, you had to make sure it was real. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, bro. And from the looks of it, she's not active on Twitter, <laughs> and one of her other Twitter accounts got banned. But she's most likely still okay. active on OnlyFriends. To be honest, I don't know because I didn't check, nor do I really want to. And like I said earlier with the yogurt girl, this too shouldn't be allowed on TikTok, and people shouldn't use TikTok think so. to promote that type so. of content. No shame to that work, by the way, but you shouldn't use a kid's app to promote that type of content and that is the thing is like uh oh wait okay the end it. of tiktok strangest live streams thank you so video. much for watching this video and now i know why other youtubers did not talk about these same topics that i talked about because i am most likely not going to be paid for this video um yeah i think he's cooked with the, the ad policies w video from morbid bro this was honestly bro i think this video is gonna blow up this is very this is a very interesting topic i don't think a lot of people know about it but yeah i've been knowing about it for a while i've been knowing about the the weird tiktok live streams and the thing is with tiktok tiktok is 13 plus right it's 13 plus to download the app so yeah it is a kid's app technically bro that's the reason why i don't even post on tiktok anymore community guidelines violations they don't push you anymore they shadow ban you and it's like me get the short stick i don't understand I don't do anything, but then they push people like this. What is this? And that's why I've that's why I've been done with TikTok for a while. People are like, oh, start posting TikTok. Uh, good luck, guys. If you're going to venture, TikTok is garbage. Yeah, you're telling me. If you're going to venture on TikTok, the TikTok live stream, live streams, good luck. Good luck. That's all I'm gonna say. Everybody, do that real quick. Like one time, just scroll. If you've never been on TikTok live, just scroll and see the absolute bull you're gonna see. You won't believe. It.